First step, shoulder. Second step, spine. Third step, hip. Never, ever curved line. Never draw curved lines. Make it look like you do. We're gonna play a game called Guess That Jest. This is high stakes, baby. Whoever wins the Guess That Gesture Challenge is gonna win this year XP Pin Pro. Look at this sucker. I'm gonna be announcing the winner in the video. All right, you guys sent in so many videos. We're gonna review those with the game. All right, but first what we need to do is set the rules, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna watch it for a few seconds, then look away really quick see if I can draw the gesture from memory, and then we're gonna compare it to the original pose and see how well I did. If over here is you got Poco's side, and over here is a big money side. Take a look at Poco's side here and you're gonna see that this guy's got all kinds of curves willy nilly this way. Right now we're keeping it simple and we're focusing on the twist of the torso. That's what really defines a gesture. All right, this is already looking good. I like this guy right here, Starbucks guy. Going to casually walk by this man being pulled across the floor. Don't look at him, don't make eye contact. All right, draw along with me now. Come on, let's go. One, two, three. What's different is gonna be the spine. He's being really pulled along the ground and his chest is gonna come up this way. All right, I can already hear you guys. Oh, he's drawing a circle. I can draw a freaking circle with a bunch of straight lines. You want me to do that? There, there you go. You happy now? His eyes are probably doing something like this. All right, this guy's got a really big head. I remember that. And this shoulder's right here. I remember this arm's coming down this way. And again, this shoulder's being lifted up because it's, it's taking on a lot of weight. All right, that's my final answer. Let's see. Whoa, I got this one way off. Holy moly, I really messed up on this one. And this is what happens when you break stuff down. In my mind, he was holding up more weight on this shoulder than he was on this one. The pose is actually a lot more dynamic. All right, like I said, making mistakes is super important, but what's even more important is going back over and trying to figure out why you made those mistakes. 99% of mistakes in art go unquestioned. Don't be that person. This line and this line were essentially parallel, like I told you not to do. Don't you do that. All right, that's not dynamic. Dang, look, you even got it. Romina Tulips. Good job on that one, moving on. <laughs> Interesting weapon choice. That is terrifying. All right, we're choosing this pose right here. Three seconds to look at the pose, ready, go. Boom, all right, I think I got it, let's go. First step, shoulder, second step, spine, third step, hip, never curve line. All right, so here's the point I know of the spine breakage. This isn't a curved line, technically. Let's just think of it as two straight lines. We're gonna separate the torso with the hips. How are we gonna do that? We're gonna use another one of my tips, my favorite sided triangle. Never draw with ovals. That's another video you need to check out of mine because ovals also consist of indecision and that's what we don't want. We want decision. The chest right here is gonna come out this way. All right, the hips probably fall somewhere in there. If I remember right, the shoulder's coming back like this. All right, that's my final answer. Let's see how I did. Ooh. All right, I didn't do that bad, but uh, this is the most important part is to check what you did wrong. Within the first few years of your life, it's more important to make mistakes than it is to do the right thing. All right, so the shoulder may actually be hitting somewhere over there. Their spine's going down, breaking right there. All right, if you look, the torso's doing a little something more like this. Right about there is where the hips are being split in half. What am I missing? There's a forward momentum in the reference shot. What we don't realize is when you're running, you're actually falling really quickly. So I thought the gesture was more of a balance thing, but it's actually not. It's the body lurching in one direction. All right, when you're jogging, your posture's up and you're kind of chill and you're balanced. But when you're sprinting, you are laying almost horizontal to the ground. Just look at Naruto. All right, I failed on that one. Let's see if I can get the next one. Let's go. Oh my God. What are you... <laughs> This is my first time trying a challenge. Yeah, I can tell. You don't even know how to walk. That's really cool. It's a good idea. Like you're crawling upstairs, something's chasing you. Three seconds to look at the reference. Can I do it? Let's go. All right, if I'm thinking back to this, we need the balance her right shoulder. When a shoulder is holding the weight, and that's what it's all about, one side's gonna be raising up. The hips would probably fall something like this, because very seldom in, in uh, dynamic poses, you're not gonna have parallel lines to the hips and spine like this. All right, there's probably gonna be a torso right here. All right, all right we drew the spine. Why is it so important that we drew the spine? Because it's actually gonna follow the neck. The neck's gonna follow that. The head was kind of sitting in the shoulders a little bit. Because remember, all the weight is on this shoulder. This shoulder is the one that's holding this person up. And this shoulder was reaching forward. And what happens when you reach forward? This shoulder pops out in front of the face. Very important. If you ever have questions about gesture, you just reach up and touch yourself. Or reach down. Or, you know, what, whatever direction. With gesture and anything else, I want to try to understand which direction the body's facing. That's why we do it. So whenever I do the head like this, I'm going to put a small little 
curved line. I'm gonna put two little straight lines to determine the direction of the face, the direction of the eyes. All right, good enough. It looks like I won that one. Your submission was also pretty good. Somebody at the end of this video is gonna get a chance to win the Artist 12 Pro. Twinkies Draws. Take a look at this. Really good, clear ref uh, photo reference, clear studies. I like that. And awesome end result. Awesome stuff, Twinkie. Awesome stuff. <laughs> oh, thank God. She's faking it. All right, she's faking it. It's okay. Draw what you know. Draw what you feel. The only originality that you have is showing your own perspective. That's what I'm talking about. Oog what? Ghost fight. Spooky. God dang, what's even spookier is that mask. Look at that. <laughs> Went to go hit up a house and ended up fighting a ghost. It can happen to the best of us. I understand. Dang, I like the movement in that. Looking good. Nothing to say there. Let's go on. All right, another ghost fight. Oh, <laughs> God. Man, these ghosts are just screwing with y'all. Don't, don't let them do it. There's some cool stuff from Goodex. Let's see the animation. There we go. All right, if you want to study realistic movement and animation and stuff, Reference is king. Stice cream. Let's take a look. You sitting in the dark? <gasps> Spooky. Boom! That's what I'm talking about. That's the winner right there. That's what I want to see. Some action, some violence. Safe violence, but violence. Artist 12 Pro going out to Dorian DePicachons. Oh, I don't know about that. Actually, I take it back. I don't like that name. You don't win this one anymore. I'm just messing with you. I'm gonna slide into your DMs and get your address and your phone number and your social security and uh, I'm gonna ship this sucker off to you. This time we're doing two people interacting. It's gonna be tough. Let's see. Three, two, one. One step shoulder, two step spine. Where was the other one's shoulder in relation? I think it was right about here. All right, so I know this shoulder is essentially throwing this shoulder. The point of spinage breakage is right about there. She is slinging this one. All right, it's probably something like that. All right, three step hip. Never curve line. So what do we learn from that one pose? Well, these suckers got to be coming to a point here, right? But it's got to be straight because she's trying to keep her balance on the ground. And if you know these flips, they're all about balance. And this sucker, I know she was being twisted. So it's something like that. And now I want to find the torso. And remember, these lines, you don't have to guess where these lines are going. You're paying attention to the hips and the shoulders. The sucker's being separated right about here. So I'm going to follow this perspective line here. And I know this is probably where the pinch is going to be. This thigh is probably going to be closer to the chest. We need to hold the weight of the body. So our leg's probably going to be sticking out like this. Our head's probably going to be sitting somewhere in there. And I can't really remember what her arms were doing. Maybe it was grabbing this person's shirt. We're making a decision of which way the body's facing with the straight, decisive lines. All right, make this one blue. I remember there was a flow to this composition that they had. So I think this arm's coming down here and kind of buckling in to there somewhere. To recognize which way the face is going, we make that hard edge right there. That's the way the face is looking. Very simple, because we got to keep it simple for you, because you're really stupid. Yeah. All right, it kind of gets tricky when there's a twist in there. Maybe this foot was being pushed back, uh, leaving the ground to pull her. I think she was grabbing her forearm right here. All right, let's see. Let's see. I'm going to try to do the... Or maybe she had pulled the forearm up to the face. Yeah. Boom. There you go. There's the gesture. Let's see how I did. <laughs> hey. All right. Not bad. I didn't do bad. I can already see a mistake, though. Whenever you do this, oftentimes the pose is not pushed far enough. It's not as dramatic. I mean, it's more dramatic than you think it is. Your memory, when you draw from memory, you're drawing from reference, it's just a lot more blurry than when you sit down and actually draw from reference. So when I'm trying to sit here and do this from memory, you can tell it's not pushed as far as it's supposed to be. It's it's not as clear, it's just, it's me trying to fill in the gaps with what I think I know. And I don't know nothing. You especially don't know nothing. Her pose is a lot more dynamic in the stretch and pinch. Right here in her stretch, it's a lot more steep. Mine is not, not nearly as dynamic, and her pinch is super acute. All right, I could have really pushed this pose more into squishing itself and stretching further on one other side. You blast that knowledge by proving to yourself how stupid your memory is. End result, it all comes down to whatever makes you learn faster, and this made me not go to college and made me get into the industry, the animation industry, five years faster than every other little kid. Five years faster than every single art director I've ever met in my life. 
that was a success. Thank you to Dorian DePikachuns and congrats to you. Also, when I reached out to you in the DMs, you said you didn't even want the $2,000. What? You said that all that you wanted was my autograph. I told you no. Look, I grabbed your little face and I said, Dorian DePikachuns, you won this. You won this Baron Square. Yes, yeah, obviously, of course I'll sign it. Right on the, right on the tablet, right on the face of the tablet. All right, so something happened. At the end of my last video, I announced Discord and it blew the flip up. That sucker went from seven people to 8,000 people in two days. Completely bananas. These videos that I'm breaking down in this video, my last video, they are the love of my life. The second, my second love of my life. They're so much fun to do and they're awesome to sort through and have you guys submit them. It's, it, 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 it's good. Please, I want you to submit more. I want you to submit some funny ones. I want you to submit some violent ones, but safe ones. Do it through uh, my Discord and submit through Instagram. To submit on Instagram, you go to my latest post and comment there, yada yada. I want you guys to go over to the Discord. This place is popping. These Discordians over there that we got over there, they're bananas. Server challenges, we got them. Ethan Bowsette mashups, done. Emoji challenge, look at this sucker. We got people in here currently doing a server banner challenge. Go ahead, join in, hop in that sucker. I ain't gonna lie, this server is actually pretty nice. You can join. call it home. There's like classroom, movie night, uh, we play games and stuff, like drawing games. I actually feel like I'm in a room with peers that want to grow along with me. And it's nice that it doesn't feel like a competition, like you could just draw silly things and have fun. These people are great. I'm glad, it, I'm glad I'm able to be here.